Welcome back to another Doggers Band Model Railway Review. Today we're looking at the 48 class locomotive. Sorry it's taken, sorry it's late as this model, uh, these models have sold out. I hope there'll be a rerun coming, coming in the not so distant future. They're a very popular model. This, I believe, is the first Oscision optional re DCC sound model you can get. I, I got in too late to get the sound version. So I have a DC DC version. I will be converting this to a DCC sound model as soon as I can with an ESU decoder. Okay, the packaging is a nice Oscision packaging as usual. You have a detailed photo for the front, the top, the front, and the back of the locomotive. As well as the roof and the base. Looks like this does have micro switches on the bottom. So let's open this sucker up. Inside the box, first of all, you have the di exploded diagram showing you where all the parts go on the bottom and the top. You also have the, the read up on the class of the technical information. And also, if, this is, if you got deep, you're lucky enough to get a sound model, the instructions are for the decoder. They use an ESU lock sound in, in theirs too. The logo itself is, is fitting is packaged safely inside the inside the foam and the hard plastic shell. I like this packaging personally. Over the companies that only ship them in, in foam boxes because they're very un, they're very unlikely to actually damage the locomotive during shipping. Upon opening the locomotive, my first thought is this is a quality build. Nothing feels plasticky or quickly manufactured. The handrails are fairly sturdy compared to the train rumble ones, which their handrails are not that strong. The the number and delivery applications crisp and clear. Couplers appear to be at the right height. Appears you, you it does come factory fitted with brass horns, and you do have um, a set of micro switches on the bottom, so you can turn the lights on and off depending on what you want to do. Let's get this locomotive on the tracks. I am not going to do a full history read up on these locomotives, as I did a fair bit of information when I was reviewing the. Train Rama 48, which you can see in the background, but I'll give you some information on this particular locomotive. Um, this is a Mark IV, or it was built in on the 27th of the 4th, 1970. It's still working for Pacific National. The only difference between the Mark IVs and the Mark Ones is increased fuel capacity and weight and a bit of horsepower and, and different electronics inside. So let's start it off. So the Leco appears to be running nice and smoothly on low power setting. Though this is only a DC model, not DCC. Piece have my operational mark lights and headlights. Much for your <coughs> And also a little bumper board. The mechanism seems to be running quietly. And I think I missed it on the review, but there is a fully detailed cab and crew inside. Um, this is a lovely model by Oxygen. Um, I don't think there is, a, I don't think there is a, a major problem which I can see. It's couples of the right height, which is the most important part. And it should be DC, DCC 21 pin ready with a speed enclosure already put in. Thanks for watching this video. I'm hoping to be back during reviews in, in the new year. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.